so hot today. All right, friends, so we are on, hi, Comey. We are on my living room floor and I have so many things to share with you guys. Um, I'm feeling very ill today, so I have toilet paper on hand so I can blow my nose. Um, but first things first, it's super hot today, so the lovely people at Saturday Skin sent me this um, pack of brightening masks, and I decided, why don't we put one on to not only cool myself down, um, but also to prep my skin. Wait, it says, Remove one side of mesh. Okay, so the mesh doesn't go. What in the world? Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> oh, my face is clean, by the way. I just took a shower. Last to face, remove second mesh. Smooth to contours of face. Ooh. I believe Saturday Skin is also a Korean skincare brand. I'm a huge skincare aficionado, so. Always excited when people send me stuff. Oh my gosh, there's like gross stuff everywhere now. Also sent me a few other things. The freeze frame beauty essence. Is this the same thing? This is the essence mist. I've been using this every day and I just set my makeup with it. Moisturizing cream. I really love the packaging. This is a cleanser, which I will all try out once all my beauty products are done. If you guys saw what was in front of me right now, I just put a huge bench of all the products I've recently got. Some I bought, some most that were sent to me through PR companies. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to talk. I'm a fashion channel here on YouTube, so it's, I'm ultra super grateful whenever PR companies decide to send me any type of products. And I feel like since my channel isn't really um, makeup focused or beauty focused, I don't really have any other time um, to share with you guys all these products. And I just want to give a big kind of nod to all the companies that sent me stuff because this is, these are all products that um, I was looking into purchasing. So um, if you're following me on Snapchat, you know that I always geek out and I kind of scream whenever I get these uh, products in the mail. So I'm so ultra grateful and thankful. So the, I, I'll just, okay, well, first things, I ordered some things off iHerb and the package just came in the mail, so I guess we'll start with that while I do this face mask. Um, and if you guys don't know iHerb, iHerb is basically, I feel like in online Whole Foods, everything is pretty much natural or cruelty free or something you would find in a health food store. Um, they have beauty products, they have food, they have um, cleaning products, I believe, like household items. Um, and the marketplace is huge. So let's get my quinoa, um, my protein bars off there just because the selection is enormous and the customer service is great. Um, so I always do a new order every two weeks. So let's see what I got. I, I don't think this one is pretty interesting. Last time I got a bunch of Korean uh, skincare products, which is super cool because they recently just got Korean skincare. First thing I got, <laughs> I forgot I got this. I got microwave popcorn, butter, and sea salt. Um, no chemical or plastic coating and non-GMO popcorn. I believe this one, this, this order is more food based because I was really, really hungry when I was placing this order. Oh, I got these Chompers Sea Snack Crunchy Seaweed Chips and I've seen these in Whole Foods and I've always wanted to try them. The Tazo Zen Green Pea and they sell this at Starbucks. Now I remember why I placed this order. So basically, I am sick. And by the way, um, iHerb, iHerb has really fast shipping. So this came to me probably in two to three days that I placed the order, but I am sick. So I bought these really expensive Kanoko Gold AHCC Immune Support Probiotics. And I used to take probiotics last year because I had a tonsillectomy and I took so many antibiotics my entire life that I felt like I needed to combat all of that. So um, antibiotics or probiotics really changed my immune system. Um, I used to buy them on Amazon, but I saw these on iHerb because they had amazing reviews and they're very expensive. I believe these are $60 a bottle. So hopefully these will you know, boost my immunity. I got cheese puffs. That's pretty much what I got from my I heard. So the lovely people at r Co were kind enough to send me the whole line and, or not the whole line, but a majority of the products. And I got the r Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo and I love this stuff. It actually works amazingly. Three treatment mask, moisture shine cream, salt wave spray, which I really love. So needy, Comey. You want to say hi to the people? Say hi, it's been a while, say I've been big. 
No, 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 <laughs> no, no, it's my face mask, girl. This is the product that I'm most excited to get every time I get a package. Um, Smashbox always, always hooks it up. Thank you for these. I screamed when I got this in the mail. Skin Iceland. I love their facial makeup wipes. I talked about in a favorites video a long time ago. Um, but they were kind enough to send me the plumping lip gel mask. And I would have done it with this mask as well, but I probably wouldn't be able to talk. And then, oh my gosh, I Instagrammed and Snapchatted these, uh, my actual reaction to it. This is the Bite Beauty Multi-Sticks. I don't know which little birdie at Bite Beauty got my address, but thank you so much. I am so, so grateful. Should we try this? Mm. It tastes like dim sum. So this morning, I woke up very ill, but somehow I brought myself down to the mail room. Um, and this is the craziest package I picked up because um, I have been seeing on YouTube everywhere these brushes, these super luxurious brushes. I kid you not, I was about to purchase them. Oh my gosh. The lovely people at Artiste Brushes sent them to me. I am so grateful. Thank you so much. They sent me the Artiste Elite Collection brushes. I'm so excited. And then the also new, affordable, more accessible line of Artiste. Um, they made a branch, I believe. It's called Brush Craft, and they look like this. I'm gonna do my first impressions with you here right now. All right. Went to go put on some moisturizer. I got a cup of tea. We're gonna do some sunblock. Shiseido. This is Makeup Forever HD foundation. Oh, I'm gonna use the Artiste brushes. Okay, I'm so excited. The Artiste Oval 6. So something I've been doing is adding the NARS Hot Sand Illuminator to kind of just give me a dewy, Look. So, okay, now let's let's go for this. Okay, so it says to float and glide. Oh wow, this is so soft. Um, I'm doing it very gently. Oh my god, this is the softest brush. Oh my gosh. Brushcraft, same exact brush, the oval six brush. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I apologize if this isn't fun to you. I assume that you've already clicked out if you don't like this, but if, for those of you who are still watching, I'm like geeking out over this. So right off the bat, maybe it's because I don't have enough product, hold on. But both very soft. I feel like these bristles are a little bit stiffer. Um, they don't move as easily as the Artiste ones, but obviously um, that's probably the price difference. I'm actually gonna go use it. So cool. Wow. Now, I don't know too much about brushes, but this is a pretty dang good brush. This is the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder from By Terry. Um, this is the only setting powder I own. And this, by the way, is also the only foundation I own. And should I do concealer first? I'm doing this wrong. All right, I'm gonna do concealer to brighten my under eyes. I'm tugging. I see the gurus do this. Don't know what it does. No, I do know what it does, but I feel like a clown. I see the gurus do that. Ooh, wow. I'm so used to padding or dabbing because I always use a sponge. Comey's giving me mad side eye right now. She's like, why are you not playing with me? Do I look super white? I look so white, what the heck? I'm just applying cream to all over my lid so that I can have a nice base for my other shadow. So I'm taking taupe and I'm gonna apply this all over to my lid as well. Or actually, ooh. Actually, I'm gonna apply this to create the hollows of my eyelid. I already messed this up. Can you see my blemishes? Why do I look so white? I put taupe into the sockets or where I would have sockets normally. Um, and then I'm just blending that all out. Then next, I'm taking Garnet and Sable. Placing this in the outer thirds of my eye. I'm gonna take Espresso and just gonna, int whoa, intensify the look a lot more. I'm gonna blend all of this out in a circular motion. 
I got a brand new brush. By the way, these brushes are my favorite. They're the Sigma E25 blending brush. Um, I have two of them. You think for someone who does a lot of eyeshadow, I'd have more eyeshadow brushes, but no, I don't. Um, and then I have two of the Sigma eye shading brushes, the E55. These are my holy grail eyeshadow brushes. I only need these two, and I'm pretty much set. I think I'm actually gonna pack on light bronze. It's a new brush, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna pack on light bronze, and I'm gonna put this in the middle. I'm gonna take Garnet and Sable, bring that to my lower lash line. Whoa, I look kinda insane. Taking that same fluffy brush, I'm actually gonna blend all of this out. I should have done this before. I'm take I'm gonna I should have done that before, but I'm gonna set my eyeliner with some eyeshadow. Next we're gonna take some Kat Von D eyeliner. I need the magnified part. Mascara. This is a Sills Booster XL. As I let that dry, I'm gonna do my brows. Really need to go get my eyebrows done, but can't be bothered right now, so taking the Chozana 22 Brow Maker. Got this new mascara that one of my favorite YouTubers, Jen Roger. This is her favorite mascara. It's Japanese mascara. And ever since I tried that Mote mascara um, that was in Christine's Get Ready With Me. By the way, I did a video with Christine on her channel. So if you want to check it out, um, I'm going to link it down below and have it on the cards up here. But um, anyways, ever since I tried Japanese mascara, I feel like I've been converted to Asian or Japanese mascaras. So Jen Rogers really loves this heroin maker. I don't know, this packaging looks super sus. My first time trying it, it just came in the mail today with all this other amazing stuff. So, ooh, it's curved. It's got that little curvature, do you see it? Do you see it? Can you focus? Oh. I think I would like that product more if I didn't use the Lancome Souls Booster. But so far, I really like it. My brows are so bushy, they really need to be done. All right, I'm gonna keep blending. Just blend all of that out. So I have been wanting to try milk makeup since I saw it in Urban Outfitters and Sephora. I really want to try the holographic highlighter. But my friend Christine, which I did a shoegaze profile on her, if you want to check that out, it's going to be linked down below. But um, she referred me to the company and I got to meet them at their headquarters in LA and they sent me home with like a goodie bag and so I really wanted to try these products. They're brand new, baked, and this is a matte bronzer. It's lit. It's the highlighter. I'm so excited. I think this is eye pigment and then a lip product. I think today I'm just gonna try these two. I'm so excited! Ah! That is beautiful. Oh! Wow! Wow! That applies so creamy, so soft, and so lightweight. I feel like I should have brought a brush for this, but I'm just gonna use my fingers, because you know me. Um, I usually do a three motion, so I guess whatever residues on my hands, I'm gonna just contour the rest. That's awesome. Kinda smells like Play-Doh. All right, we're gonna try the highlighter. Can you see a highlight? Am I glowy? Do I look sweaty? It smells like Play-Doh. Oh, that texture is so nice. Ah, I should use the same hand that I contoured with. Ah, I should use the same hand. Okay. All right. Where is the blush? This is the Marc Jacobs blush and Night Fever and Hot Stuff, and this is probably the most raspberry one that they sent me. Um, I have been using this every day. I literally never wore blush or even bought a blush until I got this product, and now I'm obsessed with blush. This is my first time ever um, using this brush with this blush. Um, I've been using this blush for quite a while, though. Mm. Ah! Huh. Okay, so, um, definitely need to use less product. <laughs> I 
these two by beauty multi sticks and this one is in biscotti and this one is in a it's gonna sound really weird but I love the way these taste as well like has a very I don't even know like a florally citrus really nice um, clean scent mm. Was this too strong? Actually, I'm gonna wipe all that off now. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm gonna put my hair down. I don't know what my hair is gonna look like. Ah. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I definitely should have thought about this beforehand. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually use the R Co dry shampoo. This smells amazing. Since I don't like either of these colors. Okay, well, we'll try biscotti. This is biscotti. I'm gonna just dope it. Alright, why don't we actually, let's, I have a whole box of stuff here. Why don't I do a giveaway? I have so much stuff. I should give them away. Um, to enter this giveaway, it's gonna be an impromptu giveaway. Um, just write me a comment down below and follow me on Instagram. And I'm gonna just pick a random winner and I'll send you a little like care package of some of the stuff I showed you today. I might send you one of these brushes, the Artiste brushes. Um, that'd actually be an awesome care package gift. Um, but let's just, we're gonna take a shot in the dark and just um, choose any one of these lipstick bullets. Ooh, that looks like a pretty color right here. Let's try it. Oh, I really like this color. All right, I think we found the color, y'all. Does that, does that look okay on camera? It kinda looks like Beeper. So that was my get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. The rules to enter the giveaway will be listed down below as well as um, the names of these products. Oh, I forgot. I'm gonna set it with my Saturday Skin Dewy Mist. Yeah, I wear a lot of these slides because they're just super comfy and I feel like in California you can just slip them on and everything. But for the most part, they're always like leather on the bottom, so I always have them resold. My name is Christine Mayanue. 